Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about delta y conver conversion and here primarily we will be solving example 9.12. So the basic concept is that if we have a delta circuit which looks like this, you can convert into y or if we have a y circuit, you can convert into delta for ease of solving a question. Now, this is, these are the two formulas, set of formulas for converting delta into y and uh, y into delta. A point to note that the delta arms are named with ABC. So deltas are named as ABC, like Z A, Z B, Z C. And y arms are named as 1, 2, 3, Z1, Z2, or Z3. It is also named as ZAN, ZBN, and ZCN. So don't get confused. And a simple technique that I use to follow that if we have to find the uh, Z1, Z2, Z3, then that you just multiply the left and two, left and right, sorry, left and right at the numerator and divide it by all three at the denominator. So like for this one, Z1 is the formula will be ZB multiplied by ZC and divided by sum of all three ZA, ZB, ZC. So this is the same formula. But uh, it's up to you whether you just note it down and then use it. Anyway, and similarly this is for conversion, conversion from Y to Delta. So this formula here. Now this is the circuit we have to solve to find current I. So we have to simplify this circuit. Now this, there is no way that you simplify this circuit uh, in the normal method that we have learned. So we have to convert into or simplify it using the delta Y conversion. Now we have three options here. We, we can convert this one, this is a delta circuit into Y. We can convert this Y into delta and we can convert this delta into Y. So here we'll be solving this one as it has been done in the book. So you can easily follow my notes and also the book. So this is the circuit. We cut this portion first of all. So we separate this and redraw, we pull this point down here and then the circuit is now clearly looking like a delta circuit. Now using the formula we will convert this into Y circuit. We have named it at Z, Z, A, N, B, N and C, N. Okay, so this is the formula for Z1 or Z, A, N. Right, left and divided by all three. So right, left and divided by all three. So let's see. So Z A N will be Z4 on the left multiplied by 2 minus J4 and divided by all three. That is J4 and this term and 8. And when you solve it with the calculator, you will get this answer. I'll show you how to solve this. Similarly, B N. Now this is Bn right and left here divided by sum of all three. So the answer is 3.2j and similarly Cn. Cn is this one so left and right divided by all three. So this is the answer that you will get. Now if you use your cal calculator in complex mode you can do it directly. So let's clear what I have. To go into the complex mode, you press mode and two for complex. So two. We are now in complex mode. Now we'll solve the first one. Now this is in, in the shape of numerator and denominator. So I'll select this option here. Okay, now we'll enter the values in the numerator. So it's J4. For J we write I. So we'll write 4i and then bracket 2 minus j4 bracket 2 minus 
फोर आई ब्रैकेट क्लोज तो न्यूमिनेटर इज डन गो टू दी डिनोमिनेटर जे फोर और फोर आई प्लस ब्रैकेट टू माइनस फोर आई ब्रैकेट क्लोज प्लस एट गो हेड इक्वल साइन तो इफ इट इज कमिंग इन फ्रैक्शनल फॉर्म यू जस्ट प्रेस दिस बटन एस डी तो इट इज वन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो पॉइंट एट आई और जीरो पॉइंट एट जे दिस इज हाउ यू सॉल्व इट नेक्स्ट वन लेट्स ट्राई टू सी इफ यू कैन यूज दी वैल्यूज हेयर सो वी आर हेयर एंड ओके मूव टू दी टॉप वी जस्ट नीड टू चेंज दी टॉप पार्ट डिनोमिनेटर रिमेन सेम एंड दैट टू ओनली दी टू जे फोर पार्ट बिकॉज फोर जे जे फोर इज देयर सो इट जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई एट तो मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई एट मूव अहेड इक्वल साइन एस डी थ्री पॉइंट टू आई और थ्री पॉइंट टू जे एन सेम वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट दी जे एज एड सी एन एट ब्रैकेट टू माइनस फोर आई ब्रैकेट क्लोज डिनोमिनेटर में सेम हेड इक्वल साइन एस डी तो वन पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस थ्री पॉइंट टू आई और माइनस थ्री पॉइंट टू जे सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट डायरेक्टली विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ calculator in complex mode now if you are keen you can also do it manually so each step separately you will get the same result okay now that we have calculated these we we'll just plug in the uh, y connection in place of a uh, delta connection here you have to be very careful with the, these points a b and c points must match So placing in the uh, Y connection now, this will become our circuit, and these were the values of, we have written that Z A and Z B, B and etc. And now you can simplify these. You can see the adding this arm we call it Z one. This whole thing we calling Z three, and this whole thing we calling Z two. So Z one is twelve into one point six J eight. You can directly add these two. Z two similarly and Z three. So we have all the three Zs, and now we'd like to calculate the total Z, which is. Z is Z one plus Z two Z three in parallel Z three, and I hope you can solve this. This is the formula now. Multiply and divide by Z two Z three, putting in the values, and again we we'll go to the calculator in complex mode to get this answer. So clear. Bracket thirteen point six. Plus zero point zero point eight i bracket close. Plus we go to numerator denominator option here. Numerator is bracket zero point two i bracket close. New bracket nine point six plus Two point eight i, eight i bracket close. Go to the denominator. Denominator is zero point two zero point two i plus 
9.6 9 plus 2.8 i so all entries done move ahead equal sign sd so 13.6 plus 0 0.998 i or 0 point uh, we can just write it as 1 i so this is z And we are now here, we have the voltage, we have the impedance, and we can, here also we can use the calculator to directly calculate uh, the value of I. So AC, this option, 50 angle zero, so 50 angle zero, no point of writing, but anyway, just to show you, shift, this is the angle sign here and then we put a zero so numerator entry is done the denominator 13.6 13.6 plus 1 i and the answer uh, this is in a uh, rectangular form the answer given is in polar form so for that we'll press shift go to complex we will select this option r theta 3 equal sign so 3.66 and angle is minus 4.2 so this is what we have minus 4.2 degree so i hope you have been able to follow this and you can do similarly this type of question now let me show you the other two options that you can try and that option is that if we use this part remove this part convert it into delta and put it back so this will be the delta part and now you can solve this as in parallel these two in parallel and the equivalent circuit will look like this and now you can easily find the total z and then you can find the current the other option also could be that if you consider this delta and convert it into y so we'll get something like this result now adding the, this arm and this so your circuit will be simplified circuit solving in parallel and then in series you can find i so i hope you can you can try this and you have been able to follow this thank you